How you going? Hey, mate, I'm the Dusty Bogan. I'm Scuba Steve. How are you? Scuba Steve. What have you got there, mate? Mate, I am spreading the good word. Corey Bernardi. Corey Bernardi. Give me a look. You deserve better. I reckon we do. I reckon we do. Only found him probably a month ago. Oh, did you? Yeah, Dave. Um, close last name. Uh, the one oh. was, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the one. Saw an interview of him with Corey. And uh, I thought, awesome, I'll check them out. And yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we need, need uh, people fighting for the right things, what we actually want, not what the pollies want. Yeah. And, uh, and that's uh, Australian Conservatives, isn't it? Australian Conservatives, yeah, check, so check, out, check out their website. I'm hoping to get an interview with um, Lyle Shelton today. Oh, awesome, he's here. Yeah. So. And awesome. like, I, for myself, I, he, he probably like embodies like, that's what my beliefs I'm gravitating towards that, you yep. know what I mean? Hundred so, percent. Absolutely. Out of all the parties, you know. That's have you have my... you uh, met up with Lyle uh, with the cons conservatives? Uh, no. No. Um, no. Oh right, yeah, because he's um, going around Queensland at the moment, um, getting all groups together of people and yeah. and spreading what uh, the plan of attack is to um, get the word out and um, yeah. actually let people know that we exist. We're only mm. uh, a year and a half. Yeah. Yep, year and a half. Like they said in South Australia, it was something like they just didn't have the uh, brand out there enough. Yep. So it was sort of like uh, Family First was a big known name. Yes. And then yeah. obviously it, uh, they uh, made a coalition with yep. uh, the conservatives. The conservatives. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, if you if you um, I've been monitoring. Got to build a brand up. A exactly, I've been monitoring um, their uh, Facebook lights because that's more you know, younger generation. Just see yeah. the words getting out there, and uh, it's gone in the last month. It's gone up ten percent, like already, like it's starting to go up. So, oh, they've got a TV ad coming out. Oh, so Would you like to see it? Oh, maybe I'll oh, bloody up. I won't put it on here because I don't want to yeah, spoil yeah, it, yeah. but uh, I can show you, uh, definitely show you the ad. Yeah, that's right, and they just seem to have like more of the common sense. Uh, Yep. Opinions on everything. I mean, uh, sm smaller government. You know, everyone they're just trying to make government bigger and bigger, and you know, uh, take more money off us, more taxes off us. Um, and you look at, you know, their uh, ways um, seem logical. And it's always like the thing is when um, a political party talks about a smaller government, they're actually talking about growing the private sector. So yep. it's like people. Uh, get so locked into these, like the unions, they get so locked into these government jobs. Yep. And it really, it's like they've lost faith in the private sector where we need to be encouraging the private sector. We need to incentive, you know, instead of if we rain down regulation and tax on the private sector, yep. and then we just tax the hell out of everyone, we provide all these government jobs. Well, yeah, no, we they, need to yeah. go. We need to go the opposite direction. We need a strong private sector yes. and profitability yeah, well, you, you at, everywhere. Look at the amount of um, jobs. Amount of we need real small jobs. Businesses that are out there. There's you know the amount that are that are out there, and uh, you know they need support to be able to you know in the climate that we're that we're in. They need to be um, you know the amount of taxes they're going to oh, pay, they, payroll taxes. They need less tax and less regulation, yep. and they need like common sense, common sense regulation, not like zero regulation no, but no, exactly. common sense yeah, yeah. we want yeah. quality and we want we don't want to be ripped off no so we want the common sense that's it that's exactly yeah. it yeah now, I, I encourage um you know don't take my word for it or your word you know to to look at him because i was a bit skeptical i'll not be honest i heard conservatives and i didn't know i never looked at you know where that actually fits yeah. um it's always you know a negative vibe i've got from the media about it so uh, when i looked at it i didn't to look at their policies, um, some some sort of questioned my beliefs um, on on things, um, but then when I understood where they were coming from and, and the reasons why, when I actually researched more into it and and um, and and one and one of those is um, uh, renewable energy. You know that, that was me because I you know I love renewable energy and and, and um, uh, you know I've always interested just have an interest in that. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I guess their approach um, sort of opened my eyes that you know we can't go 100 percent renewable. Uh, you know, look at today, perfect. It's like raining, you know what I mean? Like there's no, you know, look at your solar, there's nothing's being produced. Um, so you need that base load and to go 100% solar, 100% wind, um, you're just not going to be able to keep the lights on, you know? So, and that's what you're getting to push um, here in Australia. They don't want to build any more coal fuel, um, uh, coal fire uh, power stations. You look at the rest of the world, there's 2000 currently in the process of being built. You know, you look at how many China are building and, and these other countries are building. They're not, they're not stopping, you know, because they know they've got demand for power. We've got demand for power and we're not building any. In fact, we're closing power stations down and uh, our numbers are increasing, our population's increasing. And they're taking, like, you know, power prices go up, although 
start taking money out of the economy. Yep. Putting it in the hands of the power, the power providers, but they're not, you know, yes, that's actually robbing it from other parts of the economy. So yep. you keep pushing power prices up. Exactly. I mean, it's G- have G- Germany is probably a really good example to look at because um, they embraced, um, their, their culture embraced um, uh, solar and uh, renewable energy, and, you know, and they were quite fine to pay a much higher price uh, for, for the electricity, but as they're seeing now, um, they're turning off um, the nuclear power stations, they're turning all them off, and they just can't keep the, the load of power that people are, are demanding, and the uh, renewables, when you've got days when it's just not producing, it's great when it's you know, a beautiful sunny day and there's heaps of wind and you, you're just producing you know, heaps, but um, you know, that's not like that all year round. So if you look at that, look at their model, look how they're, um, if you research right now what's happening with them, I mean, they've got wind turbines they're bringing down. You know, uh, because it's not it's not economical anymore for that for that generation. They're only up for, for, up for ten years. There's always like the moral. Um, I think there's the the real moral argument where we understand that no one likes pollution. Yes, I so don't like no. you. You're saying like yes, you don't like pollution. No, no. I don't like pollution. No. I don't want to be sucking in fucking. <laughs> but I encourage, I encourage people to to you know there's a there's a. Um, Something that just keeps getting drummed into us. You know, the media says the same thing. They're just repeating the same thing. There's a report that just came out recently in the last couple of days. I don't know if it's the IPAA, uh, something like that from the US. And it, they've even got spelling mistakes. They can't even spell countries correctly or anything like that. But all they're, all they're trying to do is scare tactics. And that's how they run scare tactics. But if you go and look at the actual science, um, actual people looking at it, um, and you can actually see that there's well, we, stuff... You want to find a balanced, holistic, economic plan where... Yes, you don't like pollution, yeah. but you want to have a functioning nation. Yeah. So you've got to find a balance. It's like an ecosystem, that's, 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 that's and that's the, the balance we need to find. That, uh, even, if we, even if everyone was to stop polluting right now, uh, the science is there that um, it's not going to stop what is about to happen. So, it, yes, that we are contributing uh, to it. There is, there is our percentage that we are uh, in, in, in a way. Um, but, and I don't take my word for it. I mean, go, I mean, actually go and look at this. I mean, the... Um, I think it was uh, the grandfather of um, climate change uh, in the US. I forgot his name, uh, but he was a NASA. Um, he was a uh, NASA scientist, and he's the one that uh, produced up the original uh, climate um, climate change uh, and brought that to the US Senate. And uh, he he hadn't finished his paper yet. There was a I think it was under I think it was called under uh, Solution B. Um, and he hadn't finished his paper, and they, um, Al Gore ran with that. It's made millions off it, and, uh, and, and the actual scientist is still saying today, it's, it's lying, they're lying, they're twisting what, I, what I've put it's in like there. The, uh, they said it was something about, uh, you know, daylight robbery back in the day. In the English, they would charge you to have a window in your house, mate. It's yeah. true historical fact, and this is daylight robbery. We're seeing it again. Yeah. And, and it, it may not be true science. I'm not so what no. I believe is the fact that I don't I don't believe in uh, pollution is a good thing, but I be- I believe we need to have a balance here. Yeah. But hey mate, I really appreciate no your time and Thank I you. reckon good on you for going out and handing out these fires. Definitely, everyone should check them out. Uh, check yeah. out their God bless you. Absolutely, Hello. check it out mate. Uh, mate go. Good to see you brother. <laughs> <laughs> Handing out our brochures awesome. mate, well done. Sorry to crash interview. No, that's alright, no, I love no, it mate. I've never seen a bloke, you know. I was just... so cold in this. Mate, he's doing a good job mate. Thanks for spreading the good word mate, really appreciate it. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Gay crasher. <laughs> Sorry, mate. I've got to go to another function. <laughs>